Here's Johnny. Hey, I knew you'd come. Hey, what's up, Better Call Saul friends? Today I am testing out a new format for our rewatch. We're going to go through uh, season one, episode three, titled Nacho, um, and it's going to be more of a reaction video than uh, an analysis video, which I've done for the last two episodes. So let me know what you think. I hope you enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, let me know down below as well, um, and I will see you in the next video. Let's get to it. Charles McGill, client. Nice visit. hair, Chuck. I don't know if we ever found out when this is actually happening. What year it's occurring. And Jimmy's got the nice mullet, too. Here's Johnny. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, I the Here's Johnny line, that's classic. I, I watched The Shining a couple weeks ago, and I didn't even know where that Here's Johnny line was from. But I guess it's a Johnny Carson line that Jack Nicholson said in The Shining. And now we got... Jimmy McGill saying in Better Call Saul. Forget the property damage and assault charges. You face being labeled a sex offender, Jimmy. Trumped up load horse. A sex I'm not offender. Lawyer, okay, but it was a simple Chicago sunroof. Sex offender. That's not even remotely a. <laughs> right? I know we got a million <laughs> legal loopholes that we can dance through. That's what Jimmy loves. He loves the legal loopholes. He's talking about the kind of lawyer he's going to become right now. Everything you're involved with, that's over. Just tell me what to do. Whatever it is, I'll do it. The intro is so different. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe this. This is so different than season six intro. Never had cu cucumber water. What you doing? Jimmy. Paying customers only though. No, I'm not talking dirty to you. What? Call it 2 a.m. All right, so now we finally know that there's some kind of romantic element because they didn't give us that in season, in episode one or two. You know, if Kettleman isn't careful with that money, I mean, his whole family could be in danger. What do you mean danger? Jimmy, Jimmy's letting it slip. You can't do that. You got I'm drunk. Jimmy lets things slip no, far too I often just, uh, um, in my mind. Think it out loud. I'm not spinning... Uh, Thoughts. So I will see you down in the court bowels, manana. What's he doing? I don't even remember this. Oh, that's right. The phone call. Okay. Okay. Hello! You reach Team Kettleman! Please leave a message for Craig. Betsy! Warren! And Jojo! What a voicemail. Jeez. The money! You have a terrible connection. Can you call back on a better line? Okay, I feel like I can Kettleman, hear that. you're in danger. They're coming for your money. Bye! Who's coming? Did you forget the last line, Betsy? They're coming for your money. Well, you're kind of a captive audience. Oh. What'd you eat for lunch? The whole roast beast? Funny. Okay. Oh, okay. Dude, hey, hear me nasty. out. Wow. Can't do it. The guy drove drunk into it. Did they have hand dryers back then? I am not starting over. I'm busting my nut hair every day for 700 a throw, inhaling your BM, which is straight from Satan's bunghole, and you can't tell one defendant from another? 90 days with good behavior, we're doing this. That might be how it really gets done for a lot of cases with these overworked lawyers. Yikes. Oh, damn it. Here. I'm in a real rush. I didn't have time to get the validation. Fine. Nine bucks. Hard ass. I don't have it. Extra. If you can't give in, Mike. Go. I'm not making you do anything. Those are the rules. <laughs> oh, Mike's not even going to give him a, a, an acknowledgement, a little smile. That's funny. Come on, Mike. Oh, no namaste license plate there. I love that shot. I always wondered how they do these driving scenes. Like, are there other cars on the road?
Nacho, leave it. Yeah, Nacho. Hi. Uh, just to clarify, look, I don't know anything. Uh, I have spoken to no one, and uh, there are no rats on this ship, but... For the sake of everyone involved, I would just like to open a dialogue. So, 146-8729, call me when you get this. I love how they just make, make us stay in that moment, you know? Like, it's not going to be one quick phone call and then we just move on to the next scene. We're sitting with it. And some people don't like that. I think that's crazy, but... Whatever. Hello? Hello? Nacho? 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 I would get out of there if it was me. But I'm a big scaredy cat, so... Pulling along. Jimmy's got a good eye to be able to spot that. Oh, James McGill, I'm an attorney. This is lawyer. Who's lawyer? There he is. Not Sound just like a, a strong, plan silent that you type. Can get behind. You miserable piece of shit. You get me out of here today, yeah. or you're a dead man. To the point, at least, right? That's another great visual. I love that. We're gonna see that bench again, I think. You've got an innocent man in there right now who I demand you release with an apology! Look, they're under all the sus- He's always the showman. This is the son's room, Warren. So Kim still doesn't believe him. Mm -hmm. You gotta trust slipping Jimmy, Kim. Doll is gone, girl is gone, which means doll and girl are most likely together, which means... I have no idea what that means. Which means the kid wasn't dragged out of the house. Maybe the cowboys right, kidnapped themselves. A pretty impressive leap on Jimmy's part. Maybe too impressive? Do you think that's realistic? You didn't do the sex robot voice, did you? I did. The tube and the whole thing, which... <laughs> oh my god. I... I want to hear that. Why are you in danger? Nacho Varga. He didn't kidnap the family, but he, he's a bad guy. He's a very bad guy. Is Nacho a bad guy? See, this is why people hate lawyers. It's Hamlin's call, and Hamlin will never... I love how Jimmy says that other people's actions are why people hate lawyers. Right. Right. Yeah. Pay up, hey. Jimmy. <clears throat> I was just... I'm going to park right here. <laughs> I don't think you want to be doing that. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do? You got a poop-filled diaper in there? Are you going to Jimmy. throw it at me? Are you going to gum me to that, huh, geezer? Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, oh. That does not look fun. I'll just do some good. Mike doesn't like people touching him. Barely touched the guy. But you laid hands on him first. Finger. I laid finger on him. Well, whatever your interpretation, it was still an assault. Assault? Come on. I swear, Nacho is Nacho Man. Comprendo? Nobody took the Kettlemans. The Kettlemans took themselves. I changed my mind. I'm sorry, what? I don't want to press charges. I think Mike gained some respect from Jimmy there. When you realize how wrong you are about all this, I'll take an edible arrangement as a sorry. Heavy on the pineapple. Pineapple's delicious. Good choice. That family kidnapped themselves. All right, I believe. There you go. I knew it! I knew it! Finally, someone believes me! All Jimmy's looking for is someone to believe him. Tails, your story makes sense. Of course it does! It's human nature to want to stay close to home. And if this Kettleman figured out how to do it, that's what he did. Man. Mike gets respect for Jimmy. Jimmy gets respect for Mike. Um learn a lot more about each other in this episode. Oh, I don't remember seeing that before. Um, that little sticker with the tent on there. What a nice house. If you don't find out what's happening, find out what's happening. 
there it is. Is he gonna call Kim? Hey, me. Hey, it's me. Listen to this. Ah, I think we have time for one more before bed. Do we have to? Oh, okay. it's like miserable. I would love a little John Jacob Jingle Heimer Schmidt. <laughs> Here, John! <laughs> Hey Warren, hey Jojo, uh, sorry about that, I'm your Uncle Jimmy. Another Here's Johnny, that is classic. I don't remember him doing it twice this episode, so man, I'm glad we're watching this. Okay, you're done here. Pack up your stuff, bury your scat, because we're heading back. You're swear doing this now! Oh boy. Oh no. How'd that get in there? Yeah. Yeah. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I really enjoyed that episode. We learned more about Jimmy and Kim's relationship. They have a romantic element to it. We learned more about how Mike and Jimmy got to know each other, including snippets of Mike's past, which we're going to get more of in the next episode. And we got more of Jimmy and Nacho's relationship and how Jimmy really got roped into the cartel business. So... I thought this was a really good episode, really enjoyed it. Also, this is obviously a new format for me. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. As long as it's respectful and, and a kind comment, I would love to hear what you have to say. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Johnny. Here's Johnny. <laughs>